Hi friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to score this beautiful three house pattern on our loaf. And we'll start by dusting the loaf with flour and the flour will provide the white background for the pattern to stand out. I've just taken the loaf from the fridge where I usually keep it anywhere from like 16 to 26 hours. I use a toothpick to do the outline for my uh, pattern. And in this case, it will be three curved lines and I will do um, tightly spaced score marks um, along the outline. When I am uh, visualizing the pattern, I kind of divide the loaf into two parts. On the main part, I'm going to do the main pattern and then there will be the lengthwise score for the ear and then some minor detail on the other side of the loaf. Um, I think we're going to um, try to space the score marks so that they do not overlap on these two curved patterns. So they need to be short and um, because you don't want them to overlap otherwise they kind of like burst open during baking. I love this uh, lamp because it curves the razor and it allows me to make these beautiful curved score marks. See, this one allows me to turn the razor and then kind of go around the outline. Some people um, like to keep the loaf in the freezer for 15 to 20 minutes before scoring because it allows them um, to if it's going to be an intricate scoring and it will going to take long time um, it, al it allows them to score it more easily because uh, cold loaf it's easier to score it doesn't really like fall apart or it start expanding let's speed up here a little bit So um, here I'm going to show the outline for the, um, where the ear will be. And that gives me a space for the third um, curved line with the wheat husk. And on the other side of that lengthwise score, there will be a minor pattern. It's just one wheat husk. In the old days, this whole scoring was like people used to do one or two scores to help the bread to rise during baking without kind of bursting, the crust bursting um, from the steam. But also um, in, in Europe, people would bake in the same place. And in order for people to identify which loaf belongs to whom, the bakers would score their mark or their name or the initial on the loaf to differentiate which one of the loaves is theirs. And now we have kind of like developed this into an art form. So as you can see the curved razor is really helpful in this kind of with this kind of um, designs. And we'll do the lengthwise score and just firm and confident score. And if you don't think you went in deep enough, you can go back and do the second one. Once we finish scoring, we're going to bake this loaf for about 45 minutes. And the final outcome is this beautiful loaf with gorgeous pattern. The score marks stand out against the white flour. We have these blisters from the steam as, during the baking process and there was amazing oven spring then you could see the ear is scored great 
and it tastes wonderful too. If you found this tutorial helpful, I hope that you would like this video and hit subscribe and continue scoring some art on your loaves. See you soon.